Uh, the voltage up to about 13.2 volts. Actually, I've got these um, set for 12.8 volts. Uh, 90K gave me 12.8 volts. These bricks, the only other issue with them is that to get that output, that 500 watts, you can't really use this brick. You have to heat sink it. And that's basically get some of this aluminum heat sink material and um, mount the brick on it and screw it down tight. You want to use a little thermal grease, uh, ideally, but it's not entirely requisite. Uh, but it has to be able to dissipate full heat uh, for you to get that full power. You can still get a good amount of power out of this thing bare, but the heat sink, you, you have to mount it on something anyway because you do have to do some wiring. This is not really electronic engineering, guys. This is, uh, this is some pretty basic, just, I'm just hooking up switches and, and terminals, ways to hook it up to other things. Um, there are a couple of things. You remember we talked about using the um, um, Kelly uh, three times across the pack, but we didn't have any way to really balance what we were taking out of the pack um, or balance the outputs. Um, the Vicor has a PR pin. If you'll connect that from, from one to the next, um, uh, we've got three of them in here. They're simply wired together uh, on those PR pins. And that kind of makes them act in unison, particularly with regards to the output. The input, or we have our wires here. I didn't use terminals because I don't want them bouncing against something. But So I ran cables in here and ran my negative 375 to the negative pins of the three units. And I ran my positive to a relay. This is an automotive relay. Um, it's normally open. Um, and I put a little terminal on here for an ignition signal. Uh, the other end of the coil is simply tied to my uh, aluminum uh, heat sink. And I put an ignition signal here that closes the relay and applies my positive 375 to the three bricks, to the positive pin inputs. Uh, there's one other pin on the input, and it's called PC. Um, if you connect the PC pin to the negative terminal, um, it disables the brick, it just shuts it down. So I put a little switch on the front and it's connected to one of the PC pins and it's negative terminal and the um, other negative terminals of course are all connected and so the negative PC pins I like likewise uh, connected. And so if I flip this switch, it turns off um, all the bricks. Um, so I've got a manual shut off on it is all that amounts to. I put a little LED on the front. As it turns out, it doesn't really indicate anything and I'll explain why in a, a little bit. And then I've got two terminals. They're just bolts through some, um, this is mylar material. Um, I put one capacitor across the input of the first brick. The bricks are wired in parallel. It's a 600 volt um, a 10 microfarad capacitor, it's just to take out noise spikes. Um, it's not going to blow up if you suddenly hook up power, uh, <laughs> and, uh, but it takes a little bit of the noise out of it. Um, and that's kind of the whole thing. I'll put a, a wiring diagram of this up on the um, website, but it's, it's pretty easy to to work out. Um, we're just wiring the outputs in parallel, the inputs in parallel. We have to trim the output voltage uh, with a 90K resistor uh, for 12.8. If you want another voltage, if you want 13.2, it'll do right up to about 13.2. You can do 10% up or 10% down with this particular brick um, pretty well. And um, so we have to trim them. And, and then, again, just take the outputs and parallel them to these terminals. I've got little wing nuts on them that I can hook up to the system. Uh, I do have the, the uh, ignition uh, 12 volts um, that comes in and energizes this relay. It also operates the fan. 
These things, when you have three of them, 1,500 watts, understand there's 584 watts coming in and 500 going out. What happened to the 84? It's heat. So I have three times 84, or about 240, 250 watts of heat that this is gonna put out. That's, that's quite a bit of heat, and that's why we have the heat sink and a little fan. When I turn this thing on with the ignition, um, it starts the fan, applies the power to the bricks, and takes them out of here. There's no design circuitry in here. There's nothing, you don't have to design a power supply. You're simply wiring up three of these in parallel and, and doing some control with a uh, relay and uh, a switch and, and our terminals and hooking up the wires. It looks like more than it is. It's just kind of a little mess, but there's actually hardly any components. The heat sink's about 20 bucks. The three br bricks were about 20 bucks a piece. Um, we're at $80, a switch uh, for five is 85, a relay, say it's 10, is 95, um, and a fan for 10. We're at about $110. We're at less than the cost of the Kelly, and this thing will put out 1,500 watts, or I've actually tested it for an hour at 300 volts in uh, at 120 amp output and it didn't even get hot as long as the fan was going. Without the fan, it actually does warm up pretty good. But that's why I wound up with a fan on it. Uh, this is just a little 12 volt uh, computer fan. It, do it doesn't have to blow much, but some air has to move. And uh, so that's our DC to DC converter. We don't want it on all the time. Uh, the, the mini is a little more uh, complicated situation than the um, um, Speedster was. It's got several levels of power. When you walk up to the car, you have to be able to uh, have power uh, for your radio uh, little remote control. Uh, when you open the door, you get courtesy lights and so forth. These are unswitched values. Uh, you actually have to have power to the um, CAS computer system that manages the, the turn-on uh, situation in the Mini. And um, so we have to have some 12-volt power there all the time, but we don't want 1,500 watts of it hooked up all the time um, and with a fan going because we're just running down uh, our pack uh, energy uh, needlessly. The... Um, it would be okay, but some of these cars, you know, we, we play with a lot of cars around here. They might wind up sitting for 30 or 40 days. You might go on vacation. You don't really want this uh, happening. There is a switch on here where you mainly shut it off. But I want to turn this on with the ignition, but I need power when it's not there. I found another module. This one, again on eBay, was uh, 65 bucks, I think. Um, and this is a VI M62-C, a little bit more of a module. It's really two bricks already put together. And instead of these solder terminals that you have to deal with, and I, I don't like these, by the way. They're tough um, to solder with. The, uh, this has little spade lugs already set. Other than that, it's really quite similar. Um, it's called gate in and gate, gate out. Um, but it's the same thing as the PC uh, thing. You can likewise trim this about 10%. Um, I figured um, that it was about uh, 58K uh, was the trim I wanted. Um, there is no 58K resistor. Uh, I took a 47K and a 6.7K and, and wound up with a 53.7K resistor, which gives me about 12.6 volts. Now you notice this is 12.6 and this is 12.8. Uh, that wasn't entirely accidental. Um, when this is normally running, this would run at 12.6 volts and it would provide all the power to the car. Again, I've mounted it on a heat sink and simply screwed on some uh, uh, wires with terminals on them and put some heat shrink over them and put these two resistors together here. Um, and it does have sense wires just like the other ones. 
and that's what these green ones are here. But that's the whole assembly. $63, probably $5 worth of heat sink and some wires. Uh, that's gonna be our heartbeat um, DC to DC converter, replacing the battery. The battery is 30 pounds, this is less than a pound. Uh, so I'm gonna put this in and it will be hooked up to our traction pack voltage um, with these wires and um, out will come our 12-volt uh, DC. We'll tie it to ground and to our 